going over the flow of the system. The city water pressure comes in through this valve here, okay. travels up this pipe and into the back of the aggregate filter. The aggregate filter is like a sand filter and it never has to be replaced and will filter down to about 20 microns. Now the control valve on the top of it automatically backwashes and we'll go over the settings on that in a minute. But basically what happens is the water enters in this tank, flows down from, through the, from the top, down through the media, and down at the bottom of the tank there is a screen where the water goes up the screen, up the pipe, and then over into the next filter. Uh, it filters down to about 20 microns. And now when you see a swimming pool first build up, you can't see the bottom. Uh -huh. Now a swimming pool filter filters to about 20 microns. Okay. So the, you're getting very good filtration with that. And since it automatically backwashes, it's self-cleaning, so you never have to change anything. In it. Now the second filter right here uh, is basically a carbon. Carbon removes the same thing as a Brita filter. Uh, that is good for about 2 million gallons going through it before you have to replace the carbon. So now you see where the water comes in from the aggregate filter here, comes across, and then comes out, and then it flows down into the 5 micron. Now right before the 5 micron is that black solenoid valve. So what opens up mm -hmm. and then the water will start flowing down through the 5 micron filter which I'm trying to get a better shot of it mm -hmm. the 5 micron filter and it comes out through that gray tube there and then the water flows down to the high pressure pump mm -hmm. now the high pressure pump uh, boosts the water pressure from actually the city water pressure coming in and you want to boost it up to about 150 pounds of pressure. Mm -hmm. Now coming off the end of that pump, the water will actually go into the membranes. Now the membranes are on the front side of the machine. So we have the two bottom sides of the membranes, which are right here. The water flowing into these pumps, into these membranes, then it is flowing through the membranes. The good water is coming out the blue tube of the center bed of the membranes. We get a better picture of that. So we have the blue tubes, and that's where all the good water comes. So the water comes in the two bottom membranes, and then it wraps around through the tubes into the two top ones. From there, the water flows through the membranes, comes on down, and will be tied into the back here into what we call the waste valve, and there's a T there. Now the T can send water back over to this other valve, it's called the recycle valve. Now what happens is the waste valve controls how much water goes waste through the drain. The recycle valve Will op you open it up and allow the water to go back into the pump. And I'm having a hard time here with this. So you control, you, what you want to do is balance the two flow meters here okay. so they're both the same and you do that with a waste valve. To increase your system pressure right here, uh -huh. you use the recycle valve. inlet and outlet gauges. Now what they're hooked up to the 5 micron in the back and you can see those right here. They come in right up here. So in other words, this is the pre-filter inlet, this is the pre-filter outlet. When the filter gets dirty, the flow rate slows down and the pressure drops between the two gauges. So that's how you know when to change
system pressure that you're going to want to run about 150 pounds of pressure on. Okay. That, uh, and that it is controlled. It has to about, okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So right now it's not off. Now, when we turn the machine on, mm -hmm. you will see the pre-filter gauges go up. And that is telling you the city water pressure. So right now oh. you actually have a city water pressure of about 60 Six. pounds Six. coming in. Okay. Is that normal? So now, mm -hmm. the system knows, in fact, actually up here we have the, the power switch, okay. the power lights, the power is on, it's not running yet. Okay. Now, if you didn't have good water pressure, the low pressure light would be on. Or if the filter up here, the maxi carb, mm -hmm. if this was in backwash, the PTL light here would be on. That's the PTL light. So oh. the system will not run is the low pressure lights on or the PTL lights on. Excellent. So you want to make sure both of those are on. Are, are, are on. Now the system goes through a delay before the pump actually starts. It's like you see water mm -hmm. is flowing through these flow meters yes, right now. I see it here. Now with here the water flowing through the flow meters, what happens is the membranes are under pressure and the pressure it pushes stuff up against the membrane surface. With low pressure, and the system being off for a while, that stuff becomes loose. So right now, we're flushing the membranes off of all the garbage. So after about three minutes, the system will start, the pump will come on, and you'll start producing a lot more water. Um, so we're on a little bit of a wait there. Now, we'll go over back a couple of these connections while this is the back of the waste uh, flow meter, and this one actually goes to a drain. This one is the pure water that goes into the tank, and there should not be a valve actually on that because you never want to restrict the water that goes into the tank. Uh, I don't know why they put that on there, so that it doesn't need to be on there. So from there, system just started. Now, right here, you can see we have the flow meters. Now, the flow meters should be both run at the same level. To adjust these, to make them the same, you turn the waste valve. Uh, the waste valve, you turn it and you watch the waste. You see the waste go up and down. And it does what? Drop the pressure if you open the waste valve, which will lower on the production side. So we go open that up, you see it drop down. We close it, you see it go up. So what you want to do is actually balance the two so they're the same. So right now, they're pretty much the same. Now, we have the system pressure down here. Now, the system pressure should run with 150, 165, and a lot of it depends also on the incoming water pressure. Incoming water pressure will affect that because what you're doing is raising the pressure through the pump. So, if you return the recycle valve, you see the pressure will drop down some. Right now, we are going to turn it and turn it up, and you'll see it'll, the pressure will go up. And while we're doing that, if you look at the product flow meter, it will go up. So right now, we're running at about 200 pounds of pressure. You can see we're making about a half gallon of water more than we are here. Mm -hmm. uh, since you have very good water here, you could actually run this at a higher pressure without worrying about damage to the membrane because your water quality is good. So with a lower water quality, you want to run lower pressure to keep the membrane from getting damaged. Oh, okay. So now we have the water in the water storage tanks. I'm going to turn this pump off just to, we can hear it a little bit better. 
So, the water goes into the tanks at the top and it comes out at the bottom. They have a manifold going across between the tanks, comes down through that bottom pipe of the gray tubing, comes in through the gray pipe to the repressurization pump. Now the repressurization pump pressurizes the water out of the tanks to be going to the filler and the bottle rig. The water comes out of the top of the pump and then travels over to a T. Now right now that pump is on and it's pumping water through the post carbon filter, which is the blue filter here, comes out of the post carbon filter and then travels down to actually the bottom of the UV. See that? It's right here. So the water comes through the UV, runs through the UV, then comes back out through the top of the UV, right here. And that line goes on out to the filler and the bottle rinser. Uh, so the different parts we have on the system, let's go over. We have the free treatment. We have the pre-treatment, which are the two big tanks here. That's pre-filtration. And then coming over to the 5 micron, that is also pre-filtration. So then you've got the purification, which is taking the purified water out of the 5 micron, running it down through the pumps, out the pump, through the membranes, and then the good water comes into the blue tubes in the back. So we have, first we have the aggregate filters, then we have the maxi carb, which is basically a carbon filter, the 5 micron, and you have that black valve, which is the inlet valve, which turns the water, provides water to the system, goes through the 5 micron, down through the pump, through the membrane on the front, back out the blue tube, and then into the tank. So at this point, you purify the water got it in the tanks, then it comes back to the repressurization pump that works with a pressure tank, and the pressure tank has a big bladder, it's like a big balloon in there, and what happens is it goes up pressure, when it hits 50 pounds of pressure, the pump shuts off, and you'll, you can take out about 8 gallons of water before the pump comes back on. So the pressure tank basically saves the pump. The other thing is if you were trying to just use a pump, the pump would be going on, off, on, off, on, off, and it'd drive you crazy. <laughs> and the pump would not last very long. Okay. So then it goes through the post-carbon, which gives you your final taste and odor of the water. Mm -hmm. So you're basically running purified water through what would be similar to a Brita filter, an ultraviolet light for final disinfection, and then on out the fillers.